The BMW 5 Series has always been one of the best executive cars in class. With its enjoyable driving experience, plush interior and inviting options list. But what if you need more space? Simply get the Touring, which offers a lot more boot space. You can open the glass part separately, which is really useful for smaller items, i.e. one shopping bag. However, when you would like to open the entire tailgate, you simply wave your foot under the bumper. That comes as an option with the Comfort Pack, which is certainly handy if your hands are full of shopping. And as you can see, there is plenty of room in there. If you need to carry a lot more than your weekly shop, then you can fold the seats down with these handy levers. This creates a completely flat floor and there's no boot lip to lift things over to make your life even easier. And I like an easy life. The ever stylish and uncluttered interior finished in carefully chosen materials oozes quality. There's not a flimsy bit of plastic in sight giving the 5 Series the executive crown it deserves. Which makes being inside the 5 Series Touring a very pleasant place to be. The seats are comfortable, leather comes as standard, as does climate control and cruise control. A perfect motorway cruiser then. This is further aided by the choice of engines. However, the best blend of performance and economy is the 520D. 57.6 mpg should keep the cost conscious happy and it's not a lot different to the saloon despite having that extra bit of weight to lug around. Talking of that extra weight, how does the handling fare? Well, it's almost as good as the saloon and for its class, it's excellent. However, you really need to go for the adaptive drive to really get the best out of it. And sadly, that brings me on to the negatives because that doesn't come cheap. Neither will the final on the road price if you tick too many of those boxes, which is all too easy to do. And BMW claim to be the ultimate driving machine. And all you nitty gritty drivers out there will not like this steering compared with the outgoing model. It's the first time I have ever criticized BMW for something like this. But by their usual standards, that is justified. Finally, the rear seats. I can't complain too much. However, there is more room in a Mercedes E-Class if you plan to carry adult passengers around frequently. And that pretty much sums up the BMW 5 Series Touring. I was being picky. Overall, it's impressive to drive, importantly, boasts enough boot space, and, well, the BMW brand speaks for itself. Mm -hmm.